Hello everyone, welcome to episode 14 of We Happy Few. So, last time we visited the Bobby headquarter and we have some new clues to finding Dr. Faraday who can repair our bridges, which is to find um, someone named Bobby Hickenbotham. And I already looked it up on the map, it's not far away, so we have to go here. And I would say we go right there and find out what he's doing. So I guess it should be here. Yes. That he looks lifted. The reform okay. club. This is where that chap is supposed to be getting spanked, isn't it? The one with the credentials for crossing the bridge to Lutz Hall. I wonder if I can borrow his paperwork while he's busy being punished. So what does this punishment look like? I mean... Okay... The reform club... Let's find out what awaits us there. I have the oddest feeling about this place. Like I should come back. Maybe not during the day. Okay, so we have to wait. Um, very well. Okay, it said that we could, should come back after 9 p.m. This is before curfew starts, so maybe we'll just look for a bench to sit down. Yes, like this one. Couldn't be better, thanks. Did you hear about Constable Rossetti's wife's cake? Constable Rossetti's wife's cake of all the rage here in the city, it seems. It's the second person that tells us about this. Hmm. Okay, this bench is free. So this is a very long wait. But I don't know what else to do. Lord, how the fog only comes at night. Oh, it is after curfew. I thought it started at 10. Okay. Well, it seems like we didn't get squatted here. Okay. Okay, so there are guards patrolling here. Two of them. Okay, let's just go there. Whoa. What is this? Find a way in. Oh, there are, oh, there are flowers in here. There are night blooming nuns such as here. What's this? The Reform Club invitation. Let's just pick those. It seems like this is a real trend here to gift night blooming nonsuches to others, but no one has it, so... Okay, so we have an invitation now. Can we do something here? Hello! Please hold your invitation up to the camera. Oh yes, that's lovely. Do come in. More of us every day. This is creepy. Reform club rules. Rubber cat suit at all times. Oh. School uniforms may be worn on top. Guests by invitation only. Shock batons on low, except by permission of Madame Wanda. No shaming, except by consent. 
Madame's magic wand by reservation only, no baby talk. Oh wow. <laughs> Where are we? What is this? What kind of place is this? George, Juliet found your clover clams. They were on the couch. I told you no one stole them, Madam W. So I guess we are not allowed to go in there. Yeah, he's watching us. There's a memory. Okay, so I guess we should go into the dressing room. Can we close that door? Yes. Let's just steal everyone's clothes. Oh, and there's a rubber cat suit, so we don't have to. Ah, there's a window. Well, let's just open this up just for safety. So I guess we need to change our clothes. Oof, what is this? Some kind of fetish club? Oh, I look like an utter perv in this suit. At least I'll fit in among pervs. On yeah. the other hand, it ought to protect me against electricity and lightning and things. Yeah, I guess so. Okay, um, let's take a look where we have to. Okay, no one's watching, so maybe there's something interesting in there. Oh, hello. Oh no, I'm just passing. Is everything here trespassing? I thought I had an invitation. So... Oh no, uh, the bar is red because it's after curfew. Hello? Lovely day for it! Did you hear? The circus is coming to town! Hmm. Ew. What's this? Team nights, Mondays, knickers, Tuesdays, spankings, Wednesdays, naughty nurses, Thursdays, pony play, Fridays, quilting, also breath control, Saturdays, wet room, Sundays, penitence and redemption. Okay, we're at some kind of fetish club here. Oh, great. Search loose clock. Hmm. Come on. that someone get suspicious of us or is this also some kind of fetish thing <laughs> okay so we can i just want to see where we get out if we get here okay an electric truncheon i don't know nice to have a way to take people out of commission without killing them oh yeah that's indeed nice oh, and a rubber duck and some bandages, we could definitely use those. Yes, very good. There's another rubber cat suit, but I already have one, so. Ah, oh, soon, kid. <gasps> yes! The office. Lovely day for it. I hope the baker comes back from holiday soon. I don't know. I have a feeling that I'm not allowed to be in here, but everyone's nice to me, so I guess. And I want to have this memory now. Um, Percy, they said you got a caning at school. Yes. Did it hurt very much? No. Are you sure you're going to be all right? Yes. Do you understand why? Why you... what? Well, why you got the caning. Yes. Did you really kick a rubbish bin in Slathy Crowden's face? No, I didn't! Right. Did you kick a rubbish bin? Yes. Did it then go into Lester Crowden's face? I... I didn't see him. I... I didn't see him. He came around the corner. He came around for... He came around the corner. Oh, that's not at all your fault, then. Oh, good. Uh, are you being sarcastic? Yeah, I was being sarcastic. I hate it when you're sarcastic! I know. 
Okay. Oh, there's an... Gold members and do not admit. Oh! Nick Lightbearer isn't allowed in here. Suspended for cause. Jack Worthing, very behind on dues. Note, Miss Boyd is always welcome, although she no longer pays dues. So, I think everywhere we go, it's like we always find Sally. There's, I don't know, and I really think that every time someone refers to a Miss Boyle, it's gotta be Sally. I mean, also, it also seems that Nick has... Um, so Nick Lightbearer, when we were in his in his apartment, he also he seemed to have written a song about Sally. I mean, there it's it's about Miss Boyle. Oh, okay. So, uh huh. Okay, what is going to happen if we go around this corner now? Okay, nothing so far. But hello. Lovely weather. Did you hear? They've caught Foggy Jack. Isn't that a relief? Foggy Jack. Oh wow. Okay. Do I want to open this door now or not? What will happen? Okay, it's jammed. This is kind of a relief to me. What's on the other side here? St. John Coke. Lovely day for it. You know, I think we wear the same size. Okay, I right. guess. I can take his stuff and then I can walk across the bridge to Lud's home with his credentials. Oh. Can't I? That's very good. He's not looking. Oh, he's gone. That's even better. Very good. How to punish me. Okay. Dear Mistress Wanda, I am so sorry about bursting into tears the other night. I was truly inappropriate when you were doing such fine work with the paddle. I am sorry I objected to being swaddled after, especially since it was my stupid idea to have you sing Take the key and lock him up, my fair lady. I just meant it to be generally mocking, you know. It was not supposed to bring up old feelings in myself, let alone you. I would be very grateful if you would punish me very harshly tonight. Please accuse me of being a truly wicked man. I have done things to an innocent person. Please accuse me of being a coward for not leaving the constabulary. A real man will do the right thing and go off the blackberry. Please accuse me of being a liar for pretending to forget. A real man would face his nightmares. Thank you, Mistress Wanda, for give us this safe and private place. What would we do without you? Your devoted servant, Bobby Hickenbotham. Okay. So, I, I'm kind of curious what's upstairs here. Knock on door. Hmm. Whoa! Oh, I'd love to chat, but I'm so discombobulated right now. I can't find my magic wand. I mean, I know where it is. It's in the locker, of course. But I can't find my key. And John Cleland and his friends are coming. They do so love my magic wand. Do you think you can help me find my key? I have to tidy, you see. Could you bring it to me here? Don't touch anything. It's got to be just so for my guests. Okay, so I guess this was... I guess this was from the, I don't know, master. <laughs> okay, so this was, I guess this was Madame Wanda. So, okay, hello there. Everyone's having a party, I see. Okay, I'm stuck here. Hello. Should clear up soon, I imagine. Watch out for scurvy. Uncle Jack says. There you are. Put your head. I 
Hockey Jack got another one. Last night. Best stay in. Okay, so this is... They will realize it, I guess, when I search this chest. Hmm. Also, I wonder, so now I have this electric baton thing. I can take, I can do a takedown with V. Or would it be the baton? I don't know. Because they're wearing, they're all wearing the rubber suit. So they should be a little bit protected for this. They're all empty syringes. I would like to take those too, too. So I wonder if I can close those doors. I can lock those doors. Okay, what am I doing here? I don't know. Maybe I'm going to try to hmm, equip this electric thing. Oh yeah, so we can zap him. We can zap them. But yeah, like I said, I don't know if this will work because they're all wearing those rubber cat suits. So I think that... Oh wait, this isn't even where we need to. I thought that, this, that the locker key was in here because of the mark, but it isn't. Oh wait, this isn't even an active quest. <laughs> so, is there a marking where I could find it? Yeah. Somewhere here. It's not far away. Oh, it's I can search the couch. Okay, don't be mad, people. Don't you look well? Did you see the partners match? Okay. Okay, that went good. I'm gonna. I'll let you go. Yeah. I. I don't know. I guess there's might be some interesting stuff in his chest, but I'm really not looking for any trouble here right now. Hello. I found your Here key. you go. Oh, you're a good egg, you are. That's a big relief. Mr. Cleland does so love my magic wand. All right, off with you. Shoo. Okay. Oh, blueprint. I'll take it. Is that her magic wand? I could use that as a sort of unbreakable head knocker. I have a feeling that's not what they use it for, though. Oh, well, this looks... ...painful. But, yeah. <sighs> okay. And now we're off. Can we leave? through here now. Hello. And goodbye. Very good. Okay. Oh. Oh. I'm just gonna hide in this alley. And I think I'm going to change my clothes now. So, we have everything we need to visit Dr. Faraday. So, talk to the Megiddo Bridge Bobby. Very well. Hmm. Oh, nope. So, yeah, I think I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to the track access hatch. I'm going to take a nap till the curfew ends. And then I and then in the morning we will go to we will go to the bridge. Sweet dreams, Arthur. Wakey, everyone. And it's another fabulous day in Wellington Wells. I've put in the weather report for you, and apparently it's going to be variable. <laughs> Isn't that a surprise? Well, be sure to bring an umbrella or two. 
Okay. Good. So it's after curfew. Um, I think I'm going to heal up a little bit first. Be first before um, we go outside. I hope. I hope that nothing happens to us now. I mean, right now we're just walking to the bridge, and I hope that. I hope that Arthur's acting will be convincing enough to let us pass. This is also a nice park. With a cat theme. Is there anything else that we could take? No, just benches. This is pretty. That's a pretty fountain. All right. I can't wait to see how they fixed up Lud's home. Huh. Let's do this. So... Okay. There was nothing to do. So... Yes. It's a lovely day to take a walk. This is the lover's park. So are we in the right... Are we going the right way? Yes. Oh! Whoa, whoa, whoa! I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, okay, I'm just gonna quickly... Put that away. Yeah, I know, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm just gonna go into this back alley real quick. This happens a lot to me that I press the wrong buttons and it gets me into a lot of trouble. So, okay. We got it in our quick slot, but we haven't equipped it, so it should be okay. I think that we haven't been in this part of town before, have we? I don't think so. Okay, so this is the bridge. And now, let's hope we're convincing. Excuse me, I've been asked to check up on Dr. Faraday. Where's Bobby Hickenbotham? The executive committee don't let just anyone drop by the lab, you know. Why not? Because they might be friends of Dr. F. You know what Dr. F could do with a bucket of motorline and a handful of mechanical bits? No, I don't either. And that's the point, isn't it? He's, uh, at the reform club. Again. What are you implying? Uh, apparently he feels a bit guilty about Dr. F. You don't know about his, uh, Bonchon? Bobby Hickenbotham is marrying my sister. And I will thank you not to cast any perverted aspersions at his reputation. I have been ordered by the General himself to ask for credentials from the Beautification Committee. Have you got any? There you go. Bye. Watch out for anyone chattering away in something that don't sound like English. They're like mad dogs, and they'll give you plague. And keep your mouth shut about penchants, right? Oh, you better take these in case you do catch plague over there. Not that I would wait. Well, I think we just spilled Bobby Hickam Botham's secret. Apparently, his fetish was known to his future brother in law. So. Where do I need to go? Is this the one? Okay, so I just want to read what's up there. The garden district may be hazardous to your mood. 
Um, keep downers where they belong. If you see something, say something. Okay. I will definitely say something. Oh, hello there, Jemima. Lovely day for it. I learned a new patty cake routine. Do you want to try it? No, thanks. Lord's home. That's where they quarantined all the wastrels with plague, isn't it? That's a cheery thought. Mm -hmm. Don't neglect your toys. Hop up now. I don't think... I don't think I need this now. Hmm. But... These are... Wastrels again. So we are not dressed for the occasion, I think. So I just wanna make sure. Okay, so we can definitely craft a proper suit again, a second one. So now we could tear our old suit apart and then craft a new one. Okay, I'm gonna do this first. I'm gonna craft this spare. Stuff, Arthur, or it's and gonna be then slow going. I'm gonna do this. So, oh. I'm weighing too much. Well, that's not good. Okay. So, I have this torn suit now. Hmm, is there anything I can throw away? Okay, I have a lot of bobby truncheons that are almost broken, so I'm just gonna throw these away. Also, this pan. <laughs> a mildly effective way of convincing people to lie down. Okay, I think I'm gonna throw this away too. That made a nice sound. Okay, we're... A lot lighter now, too. So, let's just go. Hello? He said it was just a cough. Well, he's sprouting, isn't he? He said he hadn't got a scratch. I'd call those scratches, wouldn't you? Are you sure it's safe to get that close? You won't catch it from looking. There could be spores. Try not to get bitten. They go a bit crazy towards the end. Thanks. I'll be careful. Run! No! If you don't want Please. to end up like him! Oh no. <gasps> He's got the madness, isn't he? Okay. Just lie down. I'm sorry. I oh, know. Trust me. I oh, know. I'm sorry. Oh, where are those two? Where are those two women? Are they alive? Because they ran into the detector. I mean, weren't they about to get killed? Or are they just not able to get through? Oh, I'm sorry. Hmm. These people have a lot of those mushrooms. So I wonder, would have would they have been that nice to us if we wore a normal suit? They've really gone out of their way to isolate Dr. Faraday. They must be extremely dangerous. I don't know if Dr. Faraday is really that dangerous what do you do or when if the memories he's just... come back. Maybe Dr. Faraday is dangerous, but I think only for in, in the city's eyes, maybe. Or maybe he's just crazy, I don't know. So I didn't find the hatch yet, but I think I want to go... I want to go to here first. Oh, this is a nice house. What the fuck are you doing here? Oh, leave us alone! Why won't you leave us alone? She's going to fucking kill us if we keep fucking up! Don't worry, Roger. I'm going to fix it because that's what I do, apparently. I'm fucked. We're both fucked. The professor is going to kill us. She's going to tell them to send us away. I'm always mucking things up for her. And, well, Roger's worse. He breaks everything. The professor's going to send us both away. <laughs> Can you get us a new valve? I'd let you use the professor's lab. Oh, it's brilliant. Dr. Faraday's a woman. 
It never even occurred to me he'd be a woman. And she has... houseboys. You know, I had a thought, but I had a thought because I think I read somewhere before that she's that, that, that Dr. Faraday is a woman. And Dr. Faraday was referred to as a she, but then in every other document it was a he. So I wasn't sure, but that's really that's pretty cool. So is this the pipe that we bought before in the store? That's really good. <laughs> I hope you like this. Sort yes, of thing. it is. How oh, brilliant! Oh, this is perfect. Thank you. You've saved us. Look, go on in. The lab's brilliant. Roger will give you a hug. <laughs> Maybe the professor can help you too. Okay. So, let's see. Roger? Where's the sandwich? You can take your Roger? What? I asked for my sandwich, 45 minutes, still waiting What? Why was this? Hmm. I don't hear in James! Rogers! Stop fucking the James! Roger! Stop pole dancing and bring me up something to eat! Okay... Well, let's go and meet her. Wait a second. So does this kill us now? Will this kill us? It would have. Okay. Why are there joy detectors in her house? Open the trap panel. This is not a dance hall and this is not a dance pole. Okay, so what are her house boys doing? Well, so what's going on here? There are a lot of bobby pins here, that's always good. And here's... Oh no! What's wrong with this house? Okay. From the desk of Beatrix Ree, voting member executive committee. Inspector Hockney, City of Wellington Wells, Special Constabulary. Dear Inspector, the clever bird refused to peck at the nice morsel we offered her. I fear she plans to take wing. You know what happens if the ravens flee the tower? I took the precaution of preparing a lovely golden cage at the location we discussed where she can continue to peck. Would you mind contacting her to her new habitat? Of course we'll need one or two care caretakers to keep her feeder filled and change the newspaper. I know a couple of confirmed bachelors who are perfect. Dare not make a peep themselves and they're too stupid to open her cage by themselves. We of the executive committee appreciate all you do. Yours truly, B. Why have they locked up here? Oh no. And why? Oh no. What happened? What just happened? Oh. This house is full of traps. And I don't think that Dr. Faraday set them up. I think that her... Captors set it up. Oh, okay. So this is now open. A rotten apple. We need that. Take the teacup to the Latin. Ah, oh, it's the memory. That was Latin. <laughs> Why don't we speak Latin? Because it's 1946 and the Romans left Britain in 450 AD. I can't hear you. Why do you want to speak Latin? You always. You always, you always know, you always know, you always know, you always know, you always know what each, you always know what each word means when it comes out. Impedimenta, the baggage, impedimentorum, of the baggage, and impedimentis, to the baggage. So it doesn't matter what all you say things? Yes. So long as you're talking about baggage. What? No, Arthur, I'm talking about, oh, fuck off. Why are you learning Latin anyway? You still have trouble with English. I can see it in my head. You make the words by sticking endings on them. Well, that seems like an awful lot of effort. When you learn German. When when you learn ge when you I don't want to learn German. You just have to stick the right ending onto the word. I don't want to learn German. It's very good language. It has very strict rules. Imagine my surprise. Hmm. 
So what caught my attention in this memory and also in the last one that we found in this reform club, um, that Percy is stuttering a lot more. I mean, before in those memories he didn't stutter at all. I mean, he was his own character back then too, but he didn't. But he never stuttered like this, especially not this bad. I, s I wonder what that means and if this is going to be resolved in the future. Okay, so does it see us now or not? Okay, I'm just gonna run through it. Okay. Take your joy oh, no. Good. Is this something we can pick up? No. Please take detailed notes on Dr. Faraday's mood and behavior. October 1st, irritable. October 2nd, irritable. October 3, October 3rd. Question mark. October 4, contemptuous. October 5, bad. October 6, peevish. October 7, flew into a rage. October 8, browsing. October 9, pacing. Hmm. Do not disturb Dr. Faraday. Authorized personnel only. Well, we made it this far, so let's say hello. Oh, Helen Faraday talks to Dr. Faraday. Oh, it's hello. Oh. You're not James and Roger. Did the executive committee send you? No, no, I, uh, these chaps, they're trying to open the bridge to St. George. What a coincidence. I can't open my own door either. What, what do you mean? You, you're locked in. What did you do? I told the executive committee I wasn't going to make any more spankers. Or gates. Or clever locks. Or peepers. Or jubilators. Those are all my designs, you know. They can do that. Then no, I don't work for them. Ah, then you're rather brilliant to have got in, aren't you? Please, will you let me out? Hmm, how? I don't suppose you see a large red button on that side that says, open the cage? There is a button, but it doesn't say that. Ugh, I was afraid of that. They don't trust those boys out there. I can't say I blame them. I can't trust them not to set themselves on fire. All right. Maybe you can still help me. I was sort of hoping you could tell me how to fix the bridge to St. George. I can. But not till I get out of here. So, I'll need a few things from you. Fair enough? Uh, sure. Brilliant. I need a bucket full of motoline. According to the pressure control grid, there's air in the pipes here. That usually means a leak. Here, take this vacuum. You can keep it afterwards. I don't plan to be anywhere near here. Oh, so this is this motoline harvester that we would have needed on this broken pipe. So we need to get a bucket of motoline, is it? Okay, so this is marked here. Okay, so now we have to go all this way downstairs again. You take your joy immediately. Okay. See you later, guys. I'm going to... Either she's a being a Sally and it's reckless, or she's completely mad. It used to be you didn't have to make evil devices if you didn't want to. When did that change? Yeah, so it, it was exactly like I thought it would be. Dr. Faraday isn't really a danger to people. She's just a danger to the government, I guess. So she came up with all those ideas for for the Oh telephone. This is for the benefit of Mr. Kite. The rabbit has come to tea. The rabbit has come to tea. Okay. That's wrong. Hmm. So yeah, what well, was first? I mean, I think Dr. Faraday isn't dangerous. I think she just some point realized what she was doing and it was rather brilliant of Faraday to discover Motilene, wasn't it? Since we can't get petrol anymore. Hmm. Oh she discovered it too. Oh wow. She's really smart. But yeah, so I think she just found out what she did was not the best thing to do and then she didn't she didn't want to do it anymore and then the that was a time when we were rather clever. 
When did it all become such a mess? So, yeah. So, she got... So, she became a danger to all the secrets, I guess. And... Oh, what's this? Oh, repair the broken pipe. Hmm. Maybe we first need to get some motoline. So where exactly is it? Oh, oh there's the mushrooms. Hmm. Oh, okay, so this is where we use it, right? Do we have to equip us? Two? Oh, wait. So this should be it. This is it. I mean, this looks like... How do I use this? Hmm. Should I have used it downstairs? After all? Okay. And let's go back downstairs. And let's fix this. Okay. And now... What happens now? Can we pick it up here? Now? No. Oh, yes. No. Okay. Handy little sucker. <laughs> Have I got any power cells? I could fill them up too. Oh, that's useful. I think we found some before. I think we have some empty power cells somewhere. Do you know the general, Sally? That's fantastic. I will gratefully accept your kind offer and not mention any awkwardness that happened 14 years ago. That would have saved a bit of fuss. I hope Dr. Faraday can fix the bridge to St. George. When did we put all these clever mouse traps on our bridges? And why? Hmm. Okay, I think I'm going to go... I think this is really close by, so maybe I'm going to go to the track, track access hatch first. Let's see if this is easy to find. Oh, I'm just passing. Oh, there's another train station. So, here we go. Oh. Okay. Oh, I should take off my mask. I should take off the mask. Very good. Um. Looks like he was trying to get out, and something ripped him apart. Whoa. What a jolly place to go exploring. Oh, come on, you pack rat! You can't take all this with you. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! Okay. So we need this. When you need to see in the dark, you can equip a torch as long as the power cell lasts. Quick slot three. Torch. Okay. Oh, my torch doesn't go out. I hope there aren't any giant rats down here. I hope I don't die feeling terribly stupid. That's my biggest fear, I think. Oh. Good thing okay. I've got my trusty torch. I like to know who's trying to kill me. Okay, so there's there's someone with the plague. At least one guy. I think I'm going to equip something else though. I might want to pay, keep up the shock baton for. Oh. Okay, so it's either the torch or... Oh, no. Oh, 
Oh, there's more. Uh oh. You know what? I think I'm gonna throw something. Like this one. Craft something, some more healing bombs. Because there's not really anything else I have, right? Because I'm not bleeding. Okay. Okay. Well. These... these are so strong. Or maybe it was just because I didn't have a good weapon. Because my... pipe broke. So I think I'm going to equip my axe now. Should definitely be better. So... okay. I have no idea who's left here. Okay. Okay. There's someone back here. There's no one here. Um. Okay, so I think he's the only one left. No, there's two. Oh no. Okay. I think I'm going to lure them back here because then I have some light to see. And then I can hit them with my axe, hopefully. Okay. That went what good. We come to? That went well. Hey there. Okay. You're the last one. So. Oh no. Oh no. What? I don't really... Why didn't I have my axe now? Okay. Now we well, see the violence inherent in the system. I'm still dying though now. What do I do? No, I don't have the plague. Okay, so maybe this gives us back health. No, it doesn't. Great. Um. Oh, we're not dying anymore. Yes, very good. Okay, I think that should have been all of them. I hope at least. Oh, one more. Oh, great. Okay, run, Arthur. Pick up the axe. Okay, there we go. Come here. Whoa! 
This is really hard. Okay. Okay. Why are we doing this to each other? Well, they started it. Okay, so next try. Was this the last one? I mean, I really hope so. Yes, okay. Whew! Okay, we got it. We got it. Oh, yeah, there's a new blueprints. It's very good. So now we have to fix some holes. I better patch this hole up before I have any uninvited visitors. Yeah, that's a good idea. I don't want those running around in my hole. Someone got out that way, which means someone could get in. I better patch this before I okay. get unwanted guests. We did it. We did it. We have a new home. Good. Although this doesn't feel too safe. Fuss. Okay. This does look nice though. It's got a little bit of a fallout vibe. Although it does more look like a raider camp in Fallout. So, um We are going to take a break and the next time we're going to bring the Motelin to Dr. Faraday. Um, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next episode.